YouTube and today we're going to be discussing the proper techniques and the biomechanical aspects behind a proper volleyball pass and my name is Quadesha Ruffin. I'm Josephine Gila. I'm Casey Surratt. I'm Brandon Scott. I'm Amanda Mountjoy. So our problem is that we want to consistently pass the volleyball over the net while using biomechanic techniques such as projection angle, height, and speed. Okay, so our net is 88 inches high off the ground. And our volleyball player is 66 inches high. And she has to hit the ball at a trajectory to go over top of the net. So we're going to assume in our first example that she is 72 inches away from the net, which is 6 feet. And we're going to assume that she is hitting the ball three and a half feet off the ground. So this distance here is three and a half feet. Oops, that's supposed to be feet. So this is the distance that she has to, so our angle looks something like this. This is the angle that she has to hit the ball at. This is the distance, which is 72 inches. And she's hitting it this high and this distance is 46 inches. And this is the angle that we're trying to find out. So our math problem is gonna be finding the tangent of our angle, which is equal to the opposite side, which is 46, over our adjacent side, which is 42. And this makes the angle 33 degrees. So if she's standing six feet away from the net, she needs to hit at a 33 degree angle to get it to go up and over. Here's another example. Net. Here's our net, and again, it's still set, or it's still 88 inches off the ground. And here's our sample, Josephine, and she is still 66 inches tall, and she's still hitting the ball at three and a half feet off the ground. But this time she's only, and I know the picture's not quite to scale, but this time she's only 12 inches away from the net. So she's really close to the net and we're gonna do the math again this time. This time she's hitting it up and she has to go over like that. So our math problem again is we're trying to find the tangent of the angle, which is gonna be the opposite side, which is 46 inches still, because 46 inches is this distance here from the time she's hitting it to the top of the net over 12 inches because this time she's only 12 inches away from the net. And if you do that math problem, our angle turns out to be 75 degrees. So this time, if she's standing closer to the net, she has to hit it at a sharper angle to get it to go up and over the top versus the last example, she was further away and she could hit it at less of an angle to still get it up and over the top with that trajectory. So it's really important that you have the proper technique behind passing the volleyball because every little thing that you do is going to play into the trajectory of the pass. And so when you pass, when you stand ready to pass, you want to have like one foot in, slightly in front of the other. So that, that way if you want to like move forward, if you have to move to the ball, you can move it. And this way you can be more stable. If versus this, you won't be stable enough to make a pass if your feet are right beside one another. So you want to have one slightly in front of the other. And this also plays into force because you can pass forward 
if one foot is in front of the other so you have a greater force behind it. And when you hit the ball, you want to make sure you hit the ball in the center of your forearms because this plays into the angle of the pass as well. If you hit the ball on the side of your arm instead of the center, then the, the ball is going to go off to the side versus going straight forward. And it also plays into height with technique behind passing the volleyball because with the force and the way you stand, you slightly bend your knees, you're going to be able to hit the ball higher and faster as well. So we realize we're not experts at volleyball, but we hope we've shown you a few ways to consistently hit the ball over the net. Using the biomechanical principles of trajectory, you should be able to hit the ball over the net consistently if you take these principles into practice. So we hope this video is of help.